keep t- talking to me about like binge eating disorder. Um, binge eating disorder is tough because I mean, it's so funny because everyone thinks anorexia and bulimia is treating those disorders are tough. And sure, that to me, they make perfect sense. You're asking people to have a level of impulse control, really, that is extremely difficult for them. And it's Honestly, from like an addictive standpoint, it's they, like there's addictive mechanisms that are happening. Absolutely. And they're going to have like severe decreases in their dopamine. They're going to, and they're exposed all the time mm-hmm. to people that are, you know, engaging in their, you can, I wouldn't say drug of choice per se, but engaging in these behaviors. And they're going to be exposed to this all day, every day. It's tough because you can't not eat. Yes. It's a coping mechanism that's reinforced by society. Right. And a lot of times it's what they've learned in their families Mm -hmm. growing up and they don't know something different. And they're also going to feel really deprived and just extreme levels of anxiety and the like almost food noise that they call it now, which I actually think is a good phrase. It becomes really heightened when they're not able to engage in the behaviors. And now this is similar across eating disorders. But now instead of being able to like be present in what I'm doing for the day, I have this like thought process in my head that just won't stop. Yeah. Right. But if I can just eat this or I guess not eat this or purge or whatever it may be, it would go away. 